um, yeah, um, this is the same day that I, um, am doing the, uh, video of just walking around and giving updates and this is just done, we got the way, so like, stand back. Yeah, I'm here. But you are sitting on a, I don't know what it is, I'll have to grab my handy little piece of paper here that tells me what years they are. And we're going to do a little, uh, tractor like what's around the farm that's kind of hidden and the years of farm malls and how you can tell the different things and if you have a Steiner book it'll tell you in the first page of farm mall and IH McCormick it'll tell you all in there now let's get to where I can show you all of these now this is my little sheet it's two pages long it's about cardstock it's two cardstock pieces of paper it's not that hard but, um, thank you for Farmall Fanatic for teaching me this. Now, let's move this stinking wire out of the way here. There we go. That, that is the ground wire. Ground to ground? That don't make sense. I think that's just a ground for, like, the starter or something. But, right here, there is, right here, there is a little thing. Let me, uh, put focus on it. There we go. But, see how it has 1, 1, 12? That is November 12th. And then there should be a little, like, letter here. But I think it's a little better on the motor. So, if this number matches to the motor, then we're good. Because that means this part has been with this part since it was made. Or, somebody just straight up put it in here. But see this? This is an N. Well, you can't really see it, but if we can put it, there we go. Let me focus in on that. But that says 9-8-N. Now, if we look in my little booklet, N is 44 to 67, or 44 and 67. So this right here, it was made in 1944. And then if we look at the rear end, which I can actually set you guys down for this one. Nope. Maybe, maybe not. I don't know. But right here, there's 10, 15, something. I think that might be I. So if we look at my handy dandy chart, I is 39. Let's look at L, 42. So it's a 44 or a 42, maybe. That's what I'm going off of. But let's look at the motor. Because I don't think this would be a 39. Now right here under your firing order. There will be some numbers. Now it feels like it's 11, 12, N. On the motor you can really tell but it's an N. Because they had, them, had the casting spaced out a little bit more on that. So, an N would place us at 1944. Because you have to know what years these tractors were made from. So, that would put it like an earlier one, I think. I need to make another slip of paper for all the track For this, for all the other tractors that are like most common. Like M's, H's, A's, Super A's. Somewhat 100s, 200s, 300s, 400s. All the other ones, 450s and some other things. But, that's the most common places. Now, let me, uh, yeah, sorry about all the movement. I think my aunt is here. So, I will have to uh, call you back, or talk to you guys in a minute. Uh-oh, okay. Alright, well change of plans let's go look at the garden Ooh, it looks like we got a tomato ready a mater is a tomato so let's take a look he's almost ready he may have a couple days left but there he is right there but our tomato plants are huge there's a whole bunch as you can see there's a whole bunch everywhere and they're huge how about my sunflowers I got to run to the grocery store and do some other things. So, 
Um, also, we pulled the tomatoes or the potatoes out of that one. The onions are looking good. They're huge. And we got a whole bunch of squash over there that is doing good. So, uh, yeah, I'm going to run to the grocery store with my dad. And then we're going to come back and we'll finish talking about the, the Super A and how we got that. And I've told you before, but I'm going to tell you again. Well, yesterday took a little right turn, um, did a little, uh, well, today, it's Sunday, on the 14th, at 10.35, and we split a little bit of firewood, my dad's back started to hurt, um, so we quit, and... Yeah, I split a whole bunch, and then we were done. And, uh, so, let's, uh, explain about the Super A. So, 
so we got this Super A a couple years ago. Um, I think we got it like fall of 2019 or beginning of 2020. It was sometime in the fall. We got this tractor. And it came with a belly mower, a sycabar, or not a sycabar. No, what am I talking about? But it came with a belly mower, um, a wood belly mower. It came with cultivators. came with a three-point hitch A-arm for a draw bar that you can, like, back up to a trailer and lift up the three-point, and you can pick up a trailer and pull away. That's what that is. And you can hook up other equipment with it. We hooked up the plow, as you probably may have saw. I don't know. Actually, yeah, I did show it. But, um, and some other things. But, it, it was, this tractor was a really good buy. And, it, the motor was locked up. The rear end was locked up. It was very hard for, like, a, I think he had a Farmall M or an H, narrow front. That tractor struggled to pull it up on the trailer. But, we got it on the trailer, and my dad drove it over here. Well, we drug it over here with the Farmall 100, pulled it over here, sat it down, let it sit. You can see the steering wheel right here. And, um, got this darn tree, which I'm going to actually leave because it makes a pretty good spot right here. And, yes, I'm wearing my John Deere coat because it is a little chilly this morning. And that's the only coat that I could grab really quick out of the, um, out of the closet. But, yeah, so we got the tractor pretty cheap. Everything was locked up on it. Um, used it for parts. It was basically just a rolling chassis with a motor and a transmission and a final drive. And that was it. So we took the gas tank off. It was a gal galvanized inside gas tank. Took that off. Took the hydraulic pump off, which goes right in there. Uh, off of the hydraulic pump because we don't know how. We don't know how it happens, but... My dad's old hydraulic pump would leak into the motor somehow, some way. We don't know how. Because you have to go up and you have to go down and in. But I don't get it. And it was sealed off on the backside. If you look at them, there's a whole bunch of videos on those. But we never really understood it. And it was it's a really nice tractor. We took the gas tank off, took the hydraulic pump off. That was about it. Uh, took the toolbox off it, um, took the bottom plate cover that covers up the, the brakes and the clutch lever on the bottom, and, yeah, and as I was saying before my aunt interrupted me when she got here is that this tractor, um, is a 44, which I guarantee that is a 44, and, um, it's an N, because you can look at the hydraulic pump, and it's an N, and an N is a 44, because the hydraulic pump was made at a different time, but made for this tractor for this year, and if you look at the motor, it says N as well, look at the governor, it says N, look at the serial number tag, which on these are on the back, under the seat, where the toolbox, the toolbox goes in the seat mount. And that's where that goes. And as I said, my handy dandy little chart that I have. Let me put this away. Let me go this way. And it sure is a beautiful day out. And yeah, so that's kind of the story on the tractor. Now the other few stories that are about this tractor we did take the rims off it um the back rims there was front wheel weights for it there was rear weights for it which we took as well and yeah so that's what we did and i took the i took the carburetor off because it was pretty darn dirty and well we needed a we needed it off there because it was pretty dirty in there and we didn't want it to corrode or get destroyed. So, yeah, we took it off there and that was it. 